Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon, an edutainer here at IT Pro TV, back with another exciting and fun filled episode on our How to Use Zoom serial. We're going to take a look at Zoom views for meetings in this particular conversation. We're going to show you some really cool ways you can change the way people show up on the screen, get them all together, make sure they're paying attention to what you're saying in a meeting, and most importantly, use a brand new feature called side by side view. When someone shares their screen, you can actually see the content they're sharing, but also make sure we could see all the participants or maybe just one, whoever the active speaker is in real time. Let's join a meeting in progress. We're gonna take a look at some of our IT Pro TV team members here who have been kind enough to volunteer to help us out. Morning, everybody. Say hi to Courtney, Carolla, and Gigi. And they're going to play the role of one or more meeting participants for us to help us demonstrate some of these new features. Now, in the meeting, currently, we've got one person, Gigi, who's kind of front and center on our screen. And we're seeing her, but she may or may not be the only participant. We know for a fact that Courtney and Carolla are participating as well. And while we can see them up top in smaller screens, their own little squares, we may want to put everybody in the middle of the screen and give them a little more real estate, right? And so what we're going to do is come over here to the right-hand side of the screen. We're going to see a view menu. And when we do that and we click on view, we will notice that we have some different options. Currently, the check mark indicates speaker view, which is the view that puts Gigi or whoever the active speaker is currently in front of everybody stacking everyone else up at the top. But notice we have gallery view. This is that view where everybody shows up on the screen. The size of the square gets smaller as we add more participants, and we can get out to a maximum of 49 participants if our monitor is big enough. We can also show non-video participants. This is an important additional capability. A lot of times people will join a meeting but may not choose to turn on their camera or may not even have a camera capability. But we still want to know they're there and maybe have a note of their participation. By toggling that feature on, we get a little placeholder with their name that shows up in the square. Or if they're in our Zoom address book and they have a picture loaded, we'll see their picture as part of their profile can also go full screen and change the view that way. Let's go ahead and toggle on gallery view. We move everybody down from the top of the screen, giving everybody kind of equal play inside of the meeting. Now that's nice and that's really good and we can interact, we can talk, but let's say somebody wants to share some information for our meeting. We wanna be able to see that information. And then as I suggested, we wanna also be able to see the speaker that may be presenting with what we call side-by-side -side view. It's a brand new feature and capability in Zoom. And I'm gonna invite Carola, who's been kind enough to volunteer to share some screen information for us to go ahead and do that. So we're gonna give her a second while she shares out her screen. And while she does that, we could see the IT Pro TV landing page there with some of our library content. So we know Carol has been busy at work doing some editing probably and looking at content in our library. And what we're going to do is now we can see what she's presenting to us. And I can see the gallery view. Everybody's over there off to the side. But the nice thing about this view is, and I'm going to do this right up here so you can just clearly see this gray line I'm hovering over. This split screen mode allows me to do side by side view. I can see Corolla's desktop. I can also see the participants. And hovering at the edge on the right-hand side of the active shared screen is where that split mode divider is. Now, it's cool, but what's even cooler is this. I can resize that view, bringing more real estate to the left or the right as needed to give everybody the ability to see and interact, right? If I want this to be a little smaller, I want to see the presenter perhaps a little bit bigger, I have that capability. All I do is drag that bar back and forth, and you could see as I zoom in on it just to show you, it's really just at the edge there and you hover over it to see it. Now, resizing it is nice, showing the gallery view is nice, but we have some view options for that view in terms of who stacks up on the right there in the split screen as well. Go back to our view menu and you'll see that we have two side-by-side -side views, side-by-side -side gallery, which is what we're seeing currently, and side-by-side -side speaker. Note also, we can show non-video participants and we can go back to a standard view as well as exiting full screen if we need to. Let's change that to side-by-side -side speaker and we'll see whoever the active speaker may have been from the last time they spoke. Remember, Gigi was the person who was in our view initially as our primary speaker, or as we activate new speakers, that view changes. So let's ask Courtney to turn her mic on for just a second and say something. We'll see that she'll swap places with Gigi in that view. And there she is. 
and we can say hi to Courtney, and we see that the active speaker view changes as we rotate out speakers. So when you wanna do side by side, you have a couple of different options as well. We'll be back with additional new exciting features as we continue talking about how you can get the most productivity out of your investment in Zoom. But until I come back with another episode, I'm gonna wish you happy Zooming and I'll see you soon.